sometimes the space is not only created by architects. In fact, architecture, the other way around, created by the space itself. We are ALM Architects, founded 20 years ago with my partners, Mr. Liu Zixiang. And we have been growing from two person to a group of 60 person now. So we are an architect practice where we set up our own platform of communities where we call COEX as an experimental ground of community experiment. Architecture is not only designing a building, but to curate an experience for the end user are equally important. We create spaces for communities and we hope that they can use the place creatively and we can try out a different experience. And at the same time, we will be able to incubate the art and cultural scene of Penang. We would like to work in a close relationship with the community's members uh, so that we can understand them more and we can curate a better experience for everyone. The idea of the office design is, as this is a main street, where we have the whole entire sunlight shining into the space, where it can create a very interesting street scenes of our office. This is, uh, we call it Tanga, in Malay is a steps, where it's place for us for office meeting. But at the same time, we also take this opportunity to make it as a community space for screening, for sharing, and also for performance. We have a long table. This is a community shared kitchen, as well as a gathering space, where we can curate a lot of different activities here. It could be a workshop area, it could be a gathering area, it could be a canteen, it could be a fine dining area. So we try to make it as great as possible, even though people are using it as a stage during the concert at night. This library, uh, we will use this area as our meeting room uh, during the office hour. And after office hour, we will actually share the space with the communities. Like, uh, for example, Rong Kong Si will use upstairs as their community library. And downstairs will be the community's gathering space and they can use it as and when they need it. And there are some shops over there where we are actually curate it with our collaborators. There will be an art gallery, burger store, a cafe, artist studio, as well as a magazine at the upstairs of that building. These walls are designed as the window of our office, and at the same time, it also double up as a space where we can become an exhibition hall. So hopefully, with all these uh, collaborators coming in, we will have more chance of crossover, as well as we can co-curate the place to make it more vibrant, and people can enjoy a totally different experience of art, cuisine, music, as well as reading. This is location for COEX, more connected to the communities. We have a very thin layer of wall just next to the street. 
We can hear the car passing by, we can hear the motorbike, we can hear azan, we can even hear the sound of the cats next to us. That keep reminding us that we are part of the city, we are connected to the city, and we're also happy to host bats at night, even uh, a squirrel in our office, and sometimes we have flies in, into our office, and that is part of the, of the city ecosystem. And although it gives us a bit of disturbance, but we are happy to host them, and uh, we find that this is a way of, uh, for us to be more connected, not only to the communities, but sometimes even to the ecosystem, to the city ecosystem by itself. So uh, that is actually happened very randomly, very spontaneously, and we enjoy to be part of it. This is location for Coex will be the last puzzle of Hinbas Depot where we hope that we can coexist with the existing vibrant Hinbas where we can be a creative hub and we are more to a content creator to support Hinbas as an art consumer a hub of Penang. So we hope with these collaborations we can make Penang more vibrant in terms of art creativity activities This office was originally uh, a junk yard. Uh, the previous tenant are recycling scrap metal at this place. They have been using this place in generations uh, for the past 40 years. It's been part of uh, Georgetown, although it is a junk yard. Our idea of revitalizing this place is actually to respect the history and we using recycled material to revitalize a junk yard. So both actually sharing the same history and they are talking to each other and it creates a very interesting combination of Jiang and Wanda Jiang. Several years ago, we have an opportunity to restore an existing warehouse to cafe. We call it a gudang cafe, where we try to experiment ways of using salvage materials, recycles, and also revitalize the old buildings. And we try to accommodate our design into the existing or available uh, recycled material. We give us a very interesting textures and layerings of the architectures. And they suggest uh, the past history of the area. In the process, we managed to salvage some interesting timber. There is a long table come in from an old house where it had been used as a hostel for the past 50 years. And once these long table fit in, the rest of the things will come in place and in order. Uh, we call it the second longest table because we do not know whether there is any table longer than this as it can be perfectly fit into 30 people where, when we have a bigger gathering. hosted a few art festivals and also music concert bring us a lot of uh, strong and important energy. We, now we have actually a full library of different experiences where we can curate in the future 
we can have a lot of reference and we find a lot of do's and don'ts throughout the process of exploring uh, the space. It gives us a very interesting hint of architecture. So the space, are, if the space is inspiring, it will give us a lot of new architectural idea and we can recurate it in the future.